You're live now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me go mute my YouTube. It's not on there yet. No, it's not on YouTube yet. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. Hey, Deanna. Good to see you. Amy's eating. <laughs> there we are. Good morning, Barry. Well, mine is slow. So I have to eat one oh. before I turn my. Mine's, mine's up. So I am here with the lovely Amy Love and the lovely Karen Billinger. We're so happy to be here. Yes. <clears throat> and maybe uh, you guys, because I'm kind of a dork and forgot to put your YouTube channels in the description box. If you want to just put your names in chat later at some point, then people can go over and sub to you. Okay. Oh, Deanna wants to know what you're eating, Amy. Well, I oh, am okay. um, in an organic Southwestern soup. Ooh. You could share some of that with the rest of us later. I'm just saying. Oh, no, I think I'm going to eat it all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and my lemon cookies didn't arrive yet. <gasps> I know. Nor did the recipe because I'm a total slacker, but I'm going to take care of you, Karen. That's okay. No I, recipe I, from I, Amy either. You got slacker friends that don't send you recipes, Karen. That sending me a recipe right on top of it. I am. All right. I know. Isn't it uh, nice to see Karen here? We dragged her out of bed at 730 in the morning. She loves yeah. it. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Yes, none of you can relate because you're all ahead of me. Yeah, 730. I don't know if I could do it. Well, that's why I don't always join you live because it is a bit of a. Yeah, I know. But I feel I, your pain. I like I just like I like to, but you know when your when your friends on the East Coast won't move their time a little bit, you know, Ooh. just saying, just saying. <laughs> well, maybe if you want to come on, your friend will move the time a little bit to go later in the afternoon because I have done that for my Welsh friend Shannon, so yes, I'm happy I to know. do it for you too. I know. No. It's, I mean, it's good for me to get up because I used to get up early in the morning. It's just that once I didn't have to, it seemed like such a luxury not to have to. Well, yeah, no, nobody wants to get up if they don't have to. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, 8.30 to 9 seems like such a much more civilized time to get up. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> and I agree with that. When, when for years you've been getting up, when you've been working, yeah. you, know, you get up at 5 in the morning, you just like, oh, my God, I can sleep. And get up whenever I want. Yeah, oh. I agree with that sentiment. I agree with that. I rarely ever sleep past six, so I'm just up. But you, that that's your new lifestyle. What were you like before? Oh, I didn't get up. and Well, I had to get up to get the kids out for school, but then I could go back to bed. Yeah, she wasn't getting up at six, trust me. So, yeah, so that's the same. It's just like lifestyle, right? It kind of, yeah. as your lifestyle changes, it dictates how how you get to do things, which is kind of cool. My lifestyle is sleeping is the top priority next to eating. <laughs> <laughs> then crafting. Yeah, I, like, I like sleeping too. Yeah. So I am going to be working on a banner piece today, which is this. And I got this beautiful fabric from Nola, who, as you guys know, is Nanny's Attic on Facebook. And I made this banner piece, and then I made two bags, but this fabric is so gorgeous. It, it is really beautiful. What does it feel like for weight, Kim? Um, it's a curtaining fabric, so it's oh, not okay. thin. Yeah. But this all is so soft. Um, nice. It's not velvet, but it feels almost velvety. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It is. And Nola doesn't is. have any more, and I'm very sad. <laughs> so this is it. And I made a ruffle for my banner with the fabric on my machine. Wow. So I did well, that that's yesterday. Very ge that's very generous of you, then, using that. It I is. Yeah. <laughs> I love the ruffle. I hope it's going yeah. to someone that will really appreciate it. Right? I think she will. I think she will. Good. 
I mean, I think it'll turn out pretty. And I, I, this is kind of me. I love these vintage tones. So, and I'm making some flowers with what's left. Wow. Yeah. Well, when you have fabric like that, it's nice to use every scrap, right? Yeah. And I thought it'd yeah. be cute if there was like a little set. So, hi, Sonia. Hi, Elegant Delights. I'm sorry I've forgotten your name. I'm so sorry. I know. I used to write them all down so that right? I could remember them. Is it true? I tried for a while because I was like, oh, don't know anybody. I think so I'm great. working. I'm, I'm going to tell them, Kim, what I'm working on. Just yes, so I was I just going to say that. I, I, because I did a little prep ahead of time because I wanted to, I got this fabric from you when I bought that fabric pack from you in the spring, I think it was. Oh. And this came as one, of, this was one of the little pieces of fabric that came in there and they're perfect for doing projects. And it has this really pretty sort of gold thread through it. And so I wanted to use this and I wanted to put something underneath it, but I didn't have the right kind of fabric. So I used, um, paper and it's yeah. uh, it i mean you can see through it probably yeah. not on here but there's some scripts and stuff that you can yeah, you see. can kind of see it though and so i i put it on and i stitched it all the way around so it's all done on the sewing machine and then i put in the paper pack there were all these pinks and greens and that so i picked a green for the inside because it goes along with the lace that I bought from you because I really wanted to use a little piece of this on this and it has green and it. it has like the rose and green. Yeah. So I oh, tied pretty. that together by putting a bit of green on the inside. I love and then that I'm fabric. Gonna, and then yeah, I've made two pockets so I'll be able to use it to tuck goodies in to send for, you know, happy mail or a little extra something tucked in a package. And I put just oh. attach the little little gold ties on the side to tie it shut because I anything I make ends up being chunky and I need something to tie it shut with. So I might have a couple more yards I can throw in my Etsy. Oh, cool! It's this fabric's really pretty. It has on the inside. You can see here it has these really pretty. Um, what is that called? That's called something, and I can't think of what it's called. But it's like stitched on there, and it's sort of a swirl in that. It's really pretty. Yeah. And it, so it's really, I kind of tried to fold over a piece in the front there just so one of those would actually show on there. That's such really a great cool. idea for a card though. Yeah. And I like, you can tuck any goodies in here. Like even just a birthday card, a little card can go in here. Yeah. Some tea or some goodies of any oh, kind. Oh yeah. That's such and a good so idea. I like having these made up because they're, they're given you grab them and you can tuck your goodies in and your gift is ready to go. Right. Right. So now I'm just going to do all the embellishing. Nice. Nice. And I seem to what have you, lost a little flower. What are you doing, Amy, month. besides eating? Yeah, Amy, what are you doing? I am going to be working on my angel snippet roll. Oh, you are the snippet queen right now. I know. I'm like addicted. So what's an, oh, the angel one, the one that you were, you're putting the angel on the top. Yes. The dress that you did a dress form. You're right. Look, you pay attention. Well, you, yeah, well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's kind of like Paisley, Sonia. Paisley. That's, that's the word. Yeah. I'm trying to put my camera you know, we're children of the 60s. We like the Paisley. Yeah, no kidding. Speak for yourselves. Well, yeah, we know. We're old. <laughs> You're not old. You're just older than me. That's all. Mm -hmm. By 10 years. You're going to be the big half a century soon, so. No, I'm not. Stop it. I thought you were going to be 50 this year. No, I'm no. 39. No, she she turns oh, right. 50. She turns 50 the same year I turn 60. She's a year younger or 10 years younger than me. Wow. You'd never know it. I feel like we're the same age. Yeah, well, you know. 10 years is really not anything. It's not. And when 60 is the new 30 anyway. Yeah. When you're when you're younger, it's a bigger deal, but not when you get older. I have lots of friends that are, you know, between five and 10 years older than me. Hi, Deborah. Deborah's from the 60s, too. You go, girl. Hi, Deborah. There's probably a lot of us that are from the 60s. 
I remember when the Beatles broke up. I was only seven, but I remember it. I don't really remember it. I won't hold that against you, Karen. I know. I know <laughs> you won't, because I know you're a Beatles fan, but I, my parents weren't into music like that. So I didn't have early introduction to that kind of music. Oh, my dad was a drummer, so there was lots of right. music at my house. My dad sang in a um, quartet group. Oh yeah. So I and then and then we sang in the choir at church. So I had more of that upbringing when I was younger. Ah. Yeah. So I knew about the Beatles more as I got older. And started to introduce myself to music. Deanne is also from the 60s. Sonia must, well, Sonia is too because she's 56. Yeah, I think a lot of us are similar age. Yeah. Amy's Amy's one of the babies. She's a baby. Baby. She's a little baby. Oh, September 7th is Deborah's birthday. She'll be 58. Well, happy birthday almost, Deborah. <laughs> That's very close yeah. to Amy's birthday. Yeah, there's lots of and September babies. Lots of September yeah. babies. I'm an October baby. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not that far after ours. No. Grace is from the 50s. Also another cool era. Hi, Angie. Hey, Angie. Angie's 53. Oh, it's kind of cool that we're talking age because, you know, sometimes I wonder about how old people are. Yeah. I mean, I loved my 40s. I was not looking forward to turning 50, but now it's just nothing. Once you're 50, it doesn't matter what's in between. But then it's like the big ones for me. Like when I turn 60, it'll be like, oh, you know. But then the I, years I, in between don't really bother me. Yeah, I never have been bothered about age. I don't know. I mean, I still feel like, you know, that eight-year-old girl inside. Oh, do you? <laughs> well, you, you would have noticed that earlier when you came on, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> really? That was your that was your eight-year-old girl that I heard. Hi, Dorinda. Maybe, maybe twelve. I Hi, Dorinda. I think that was more like your 14 or 15 year old. Maybe, oh. maybe. your 12. Maybe year old. it was. Maybe 12. Yeah. <laughs> I had an older sister, you know. Oh, yes. She All taught right. me those things. I'll blame her because she's not here. And your father, you said, was a drummer. So that probably. Continued. My dad was a drummer, and my dad taught my sister and I to curse in French oh, when boy. we were little because we lived in Montreal, and he thought it was funny. My mother didn't. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I'm sorry to hear that, Angie. Oh, I'm so sorry, Angie. Yeah. Sorry, Angie. Take care. Grace said she loves being in her 50s now. She feels fantastic. Yay. Well, you know, I think the 50s, you're still young enough that, you know, you can still, you know, what? act young, be young, feel young. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that'll be any different for me next year when I go into my 60s. I don't, I don't th think it'll be any different. I think no, a lot, if you really a do feel young inside, don't you? Yeah, I was that never changes. It's, it's mindset. Really. Yeah. I think you, people that get really down about their birthdays, they do themselves. That doesn't help them. No, it doesn't. I like my birthday because you get cake. How could you be sad? Yeah, really? No kidding. As long as it's more. Oh, Amy. You can have cake that's, you know, flourless and stuff. Well, I'm not. I can it's but I'm allergic no. to eggs and I don't do dairy and I'm trying not to do sugar. So it sounds like an off 
It sounds like an awful lot of stuff to give up. Yeah, a little comfortable. Uh, I forgot to put this underneath. That's Ooh. amazing. Duh, duh, duh. What'd you do? Well, I wanted to put this cheesecloth down, and then I pulled it up, and then put the the <laughs> image down, and then didn't put the cheesecloth down. Because, duh. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to be forgetful when you're crafting. Oh, boy. <laughs> then, I'm, then I'm doomed. I quit. It's okay. it's I'm okay doomed then. Oh, it's okay to do it when it comes to your house cleaning, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what, Angie? My grandson's birthday is December 27th. And he he doesn't mind it so much because he's still little. But, you know, when he gets older, he may feel the same way. Um, when your birthday is around Christmas, you do feel like you get less. Yeah. Oh, Deanna, this is Kim we're talking about. Thank you. <laughs> She knows me. I am forgetful, though. What can I say? <laughs> what did she say? I missed it. She said, this is Kim we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> wow. All my friends know me really well. That's great. That's great. Isn't it great? Nice to be loved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes, if you could like it, that would be awesome. Any interaction on YouTube is great. Dorinda loves what you're putting down there, Karen. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ansem. Bye, I cut, Angie. I cut the pieces of that lace that I bought from you to fit in with this other dangle lace that I had. So they, the scallops yeah, sit a, in the right spot. That's a really wide lace, isn't it? So pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah, I'll have to get some more of that. I have a tiny snippet I kept for myself. That's the thing about when you have a store, you never keep anything for yourself. Your story. Yeah, I guess it's hard because if someone wants to buy it, you think, oh, well, I'll just sell that. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do. That's how it goes. Oh, I was going to show you, Kim. I took that napkin and I got, I did it onto the fabric. Oh, did you? So I used the, I used a, a cotton oh. backing and I put the saran wrap in between and ironed it on. So it was all fused on. And then I stitched around it just to make sure, you know, for reinforcement as well. But it was oh, well, nice. it was, and it's such a nice feeling. Right. It, it, real nice. It's really nice to be able to use your napkins on cardstock and and yeah. uh, using, you know without yeah, using mod, no mod podge like it's soft yeah. it feels feels just like material that's yeah. amazing yeah and the saran wrap works so well for melting it on there oh it's just it's perfect and then just use parchment to protect your iron yeah and yeah. and it's good and it i mean it takes a hot hot iron for sure yeah. i love that but napkin it, it is, yeah, and it that is a really pretty. As soon as I saw that one, I was like, oh, I have to have that. And you know, I debated on getting those napkins, and they all sold out too. <laughs> napkins, I see, I love napkins, and they're not easy to find. Anytime I found them, it was it's usually in like a specialty shop when we've been out and about. You go in and they sell the nice fancy ones. Yeah. But they're real the real nice ones are hard to find. Hi, Amanda. Oh, thank you. She said all three projects look great. Thank you. We're going to put the Flurfy Ruffle down now. Flurfy. The Flurfy Ruffle. Yeah. Hmm. That's that my must, word, Flurfy. That must, that must be a East Coast word. <laughs> no, Either that's that or, uh, are they that or you made it up. Well, my family makes words up. We just do. Oh, cool. It's something we've always done. Like yeah. the TV remote, we call it a gipper. Oh, my God. I have no idea why. You know, it's just... And all my kids, even though they're grown now, they still call it a gipper. So now their spouses call it a gipper. Yeah, I was going to say, that'll just keep catching on. Yeah. 
funny. It's kind of funny. It is funny. <laughs> That's my husband. He, uh, Dougal, he makes up some funny words sometimes. He is funny. He's a funny guy. What can I say? I got to try that ironing um, with the saran wrap. I've never done that. Really? Yeah, I've never done it. Yeah. But you know what I have done? You know, the um, they're not the pocket protectors because they'd melt. It's more like a sheet of acetate. Yeah. And you Mod Podge on top of the blank acetate. And then while it's wet, you put your napkin good side down on top of it. And okay. then you mod podge on the back of it. Right. Let it completely dry. And when you peel it up, it's just solid. And I've sewn with oh, that. I've made pockets for junk journals with them. Wow. So I'll have to do a tutorial wow. on that. Yeah, it's really a cool technique. So the whole, whole napkin would be adhered to the acetate. Yeah, but it peels off afterwards. It peels off. Yeah. Oh. It peels right off. And then it's almost like a, you can make like a glassine feel bag almost with it. It kind of feels wow. like that. Yeah. Oh, so I'll have cool. to do a tutorial of that because I've done that before. I don't have any made, I don't think. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Oh, Sanju's going swimming tomorrow. Nice. It's already fall weather here. I love it. It is here today. Oh, man. The evenings are definitely fall here, too. I love it so much. It gets down to the into the 40s already at night here. Well, it's much better for sleeping, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. And fires outside is my favorite thing. Yes, yes and Amy text me pictures of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like Fine camping. Got a heat wave. <laughs> camping in your own backyard. Love it. Really had a good time. Oh my gosh, I made just enough ruffles. Well, that's good because you don't have any more material. That's true. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to I'm do a sad. switch up. <laughs> I'm Oops, sad about gotta that. Got to do something different. <laughs> but Nola has some beautiful fabrics in her Facebook group for sale. Um, I might cheat and glue everything in the snippet roll instead of sewing it all on by hand. Is that wrong? I I use tiny little bits of glue on some of the stuff in my snippet roll just so that, you know, you can just run your fingernail underneath it to lift the thing off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think oh, that the... 34 is hot, Sonia. 34 Celsius. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. I don't know what that is. It's hot. Trust me. Okay. It's hot. Yeah, that's like, uh, let's see, about 108 or so. Holy moly. See? Yeah. That's too thick. I need. I don't see those kind of temperatures anymore. I did in Georgia, but not here. It doesn't get in the hundreds. Okay, there's enough of that. So tomorrow's your last day of work, Amy. Well, it was to Is it tomorrow? It was supposed to be. Oh no. I when I saw you post that, I'm like, oh yeah, sure. They're gonna extend that because they're gonna be busy through Labor Day. Yes, I'm working this weekend, but now I'm on call for the fall. So. Oh, oh well, that's okay. Yeah, Does I mean, that mean you? Can I mean, you say no when they call you? Not really. If I want to keep my job, no. 
Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, if there was a reason why, though, you could say no. You couldn't say no all the time, but. Right. Yeah, yeah. You'd okay. have to be flexible, of course. I'm happy to be on call because I need to be good job, you know. Well, that's okay. So when they're busy, they would bring you in to do the. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's been a blessing. This job has been a blessing. For sure. well, that's always a good way to look at it. I'm just not used to that life. That's all. What life is that? Working outside the home. Oh, okay. But you did you did for a number of years. Well, I did. Oh, I taught preschool, but it's like I, it was only part time. So I still did every I still did everything at home. Okay. Like, those of you who worked full time and did all the home stuff, I don't know how you do it because I can't. I'm not keeping track of everything that needs to be done here at the house. It's making me insane. You, I did it for years, and you do it in a. I know now. I did it in a blur because there's some parts I can't even remember. Yeah. I used to get the kid, four kids off school in the morning, get their breakfast, make sure all their backpacks were packed, get them out the door, get myself ready to go to work, go to work, come home on my lunch hour, organize dinner, put something in the crock pot, and then go back to work. Yeah. It's like you have to be so organized. And then, of course, your day off is spent cleaning the house, doing laundry, and grocery shopping. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's what my day offs look like. It doesn't there's not crafty time. No. No, it definitely that's those years I never did any crafting. Yep. I it was gone. <laughs> I miss crafty time for sure. I'm thankful to have some today, though. Yeah. Well, that's good. Too. I can't see what you're doing, Amy, but yours looks really nice, Cam. Wow. I like the image. Yeah, I love that image. I like all these little black and white images here. These two are going to go yeah. on bags. Those are nice. Very pretty. They're like, What's I that? love like Elizabethan women. Mm -hmm. Shakespeare. What is that big box in front of you there, Amy? Uh, is that all your? Is that your supplies? This is the flowers. Oh, excellent! Love and organization. Appliques. Excellent. Mm. Is anybody else crafting today in the chat? Elegant Delights. Okay, night all. Good night, Elegant Delights. Oh, good, night. good night, Grace. Is it Grace? Yeah. You said? I have to try and remember that. Yeah, I have to as well. I forget my, I just am terrible with names. Your face, I can remember. But names, I'm not good at. Well, that Which makes tricky. it hard for online. I was going to say, that makes it really hard for online because you don't see people's yeah, faces. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does, it does, it does. You're funny, Kim. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> it's all good. We are going to have some rain today. It is very gray and yucky rain outside. Oh, it's sunshine here. Very, very well, good. it'll rain tomorrow because you're always a day behind with weather. True. Oh, whatever I down. get, it gets the next day. Oh, we have a week of sunshine here. Hey, okay. but we, but it's, but it's nice because it's not as hot as it was, and it cools down in the evening. So, end of August, September is really nice here. Oh, you're going to get a YouTube channel, Sonia? That would be great. She has a YouTube channel. She just doesn't record anything. Oh, okay. She, apparently she's she going to. Yeah, I think yeah, she's been getting lots of encouragement to, to actually post something on her YouTube channel. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. It's 
It's actually a big step to take. It really is. Because we were talking last week about, you know, being critical of your work. Yeah. Um, when you start posting videos, it can be a bit of a challenge. It can. That is true fact. Because if you watch them back, you're like, oh, my God, I can't post that. Right? I'm such a dork. That's what I always say when I watch my videos back. I'm such yeah. a dork. I know. And then, and then my daughter got me an editing a app for editing so i do a bit of editing but then that takes time and then i'm like well i don't really like doing all this either <laughs> I know, right? yeah because it's like oh my god the whole process of get, making the video editing the video uploading the video it's like oh my god how many hours does that take away from what i'd rather be doing right yeah that it's so much yeah it's work so i yeah People anyway. don't that don't have channels don't get it. It's so much work. <laughs> I, well, I don't. You really can't appreciate it until you do it. Like you just, yeah, 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 Deanna. You need to show your work off too, Missy. <laughs> now, Deanna, did she? Deanna, did you get your garter finish that you were working on and having all the trouble with the elastic? Remember last week she was struggling. Yeah. With I have a feeling that might be something she's making for her daughter-in-law. Yeah. I wondered if she managed to. Sewing elastic lace is not easy. No. Ouchie, Bernie. Don't do that. Well, it's just something I do every time. <laughs> do you? You must you must hit somewhere on your hand that isn't already all so toughened up by the hot glue that you actually feel it. Yeah, that's true. Because it's usually on the back of your hand or something, because usually the all the all my fingertips, I don't even feel the hot glue anymore. I remember I watched a video a couple of years ago and this, I can't remember who it was, but this poor YouTuber, she was wearing a pair of shorts and <gasps> I guess, hi Debbie, I guess she was holding hi, her project not on her table, but over top of her leg yeah. Yeah. and a huge blob of glue went right on the top of her thigh Oh, that would be no, so painful. No, no, no. And uh, she had a huge thing on her, and she said it was the, one of the most painful things she's ever felt. And I'm like, yeah, because that would be tender skin there. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. And you don't think about stuff like that. You just, no. you know, sit down and start crafting, and then you have. And sometimes you can go a really long time without having a glue mishap. Yep. So, so then you you don't think about it, right? That's right. Oh, Deanna got the one done that she's going to throw. I just need to finish the one she's going to keep. Oh, good. So did you have to do it by hand, Deanna, or did you figure out the sewing machine? She's probably like, I wish she wouldn't ask me that because I don't want to type all that in the box. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, you forget when you're talking like this that you're not having to type it because right. <laughs> you're not doing that. And then afterwards, you're like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have asked that because that's just cruel. <laughs> So is anybody doing anything exciting this week? 
know, I'm doing this today and I'm just happy about that. <laughs> You're funny, Amy. Okay. Ouchie. Again. Well, I just keep sticking my thumb in the glue. You oh. know. Well, where's the glue that you're sticking your thumb in it? Well, it's on the lace and I push it down oh. and oh yeah. You know. I didn't say I was the brightest crafter, Karen. Where's, no, no, don't say that. Um, <laughs> don't put yourself down. Where's your little, like a little rubber spatula to do that with? Yeah, or your kit. Your, don't I you had it. it the other day and I seem to have misplaced it. Oh. Because hmm. that happens on my desk. <laughs> my desk eats things. Right. I think we all have that problem. It's like the dryer when you put your socks in it. Sometimes yes. you don't get both back. I hate when that happens. Yeah. And you put them put them into a laundry bag. Yes, that's a good idea. But I never take that's them. True. Then, then they all come out in the laundry bag. Well, oh, that was a good idea, Deanna. She found elastic that had lace on it, so she cheated. Awesome. Right. And then she that's good and then she hand sewed the ends together no deanna but if you want to come to my house and help me that'd be great <laughs> i got a spare room i'll come help you oh yay there you go if karen is yeah. coming i will get in my car and drive oh see you she oh. can drive there yes whoa Whoa. Yeah, she's not that far. She's just on the other side of Quebec. So yeah, that's what I thought when I when you look at it on the on the map. This is one yes. of the flowers. This is one of the flowers that you sent me, Kim. Oh my used god, it. It's so pretty. Yeah, Aww. she makes the little you know with the burned edges. I'm not really a fan of doing that. So so oh, I thought it looked it was it's kind of a champagne -y pink color. So it yeah. kind of went with the yeah, color tones. So I put that on the front. It's very Aww, pretty. so sweet. You're so sweet, Karen. I was digging through all my stuff trying to figure out what I was going to use. And then I was like, that is the right one. I know. Isn't it nice when people make you flowers and send them to you? Yeah. I love it. I love it, too. I love when that happens. <laughs> yeah. I should do a flower challenge because that's what I'd like, I think. Actually, that is a really smart thing to do. And even it, if you want to, yeah. like, if you want them a certain size, just say what size you want them or what sizes kind of thing. Yep. If you're particular. And then that way, when people make them, they know exactly kind of what you like. Yeah, that's and what I'm thinking. certain colors and you'd, you'd get a nice big stash of them. Yeah. And that would be so amazing because the, then you can put them on anything. And the thing too, is that it does open it up to people because overseas, it doesn't cost very much to put a few of the smaller flowers. Like this size that you made me is a perfect size. And you can put a few of those into even an envelope with a card and send it to you. Yes. So it makes shipping a lot more affordable. Yeah, I only saw ouch, Sonia, and that was oh. it. And then you saying, is uh -oh. my comment not showing? So I'm not sure if you had a different comment after that. Deanna says, no, she doesn't make flowers. <laughs> well, we could do um, we could do a video together and all of us could do a different flower and Deanna could oh. pick one because there's lots of really easy flowers. You can yeah, pick. I like that. Super easy. We could teach you, Deanna. Yeah, that would be good because we all love making flowers. I'm down with that. And if she's she's a so no, she would do so or no so because she sews. Good because I do so. I sew almost all my flowers. I don't know why your comment didn't show up, Sonia. It must be just a weird YouTube glitch that happens, but yeah, because your comments are showing up now, sweetie. 
And they did before too. Yep. I don't know what happened. It's kind of weird. All right, let's see what else we're going to do here. So, Deanna, you didn't comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remained, Deanna, do you want to? Yeah. She's remained silent. <laughs> she doesn't come on videos, but I would love your, she knows she's welcome anytime on my live if she but ever I mean, wants to. She, we she could just watch and and pick up some tips on flower making that's true <laughs> she was she saw she sat here thinking i was talking a lot because all i saw was mine <laughs> hmm. i do like that trim Anyway, Kim, I think that would be a good idea if you need flowers. Yeah. Maybe flowers and a tag or... What do you think about that? I think, well, yeah. Or just I mean... <laughs> Maybe like five flowers? I would, if it was me, I'd just go for the flowers and just let people concentrate maybe on yeah. one thing. Yeah. Because um, sometimes if it's challenging to do both, they get kind of overwhelmed. That's true. But That's true. if they just have to pick doing whatever number of flowers you decide. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You should said, do a challenge, Sonia. That'd had be great. Three, she had 300 subbies without doing anything. God, That's girl. Because people love your work, Sonia. Yeah. Must be. You have to tell me your secrets because <laughs> I I don't have I don't have that many. And <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. You're very quiet, Amy. What you doing? Concentrating. Are you? <laughs> yeah. She's the snippet queen. She yeah. She's been making some gorgeous ones. Oh, there's the phone. Hopefully hubby will get it. Mm. Sounds like he did. I had to laugh when you were yelling at him in the background before and he goes, oh yeah, it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keeps you guys oriented in your house, you know, as to what day of the week it is. Well, yeah, and, you know, I like to give him a warning in case he, you know, pops yeah. in here and oh, blurts yeah. something out. But, because, <laughs> you know. You know. Does he, does he talk like you sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Just, just wondering, you know. Sometimes it's not equal. No, he does. He does. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's all My good. secret's out now, Karen. It's not. It's not <laughs> a big deal. It's not. Not really a secret. No, probably not. <laughs> I kind of suspect it anyway, because, you know, there's been a few times that you've said things that I think, yeah, she didn't mean to say that. She meant to say something else, but that's OK. You're that's very good, you're very good at uh, watching when you're on lives. You're very, very controlled. Just before that, that I'm not. <laughs> well, that's how you, you get it out of your system. Yeah. Prior to. Yeah. That's good. That's good planning. <laughs> Yeah, we could do a live definitely on how to do different flowers. I think that would be maybe good if uh, people are free next week. We could or whenever. I can move my time so it's not so painful for Karen. <laughs> okay. Forces me to get up. Um, Deanna, you have almost the same number of subbies and I post videos. So I think I'm going to stop posting. Videos. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe that's the secret because honestly, I think I just went, I might be at 197 and it's taken months to get to there. 
but anyway years I've, to get I've, 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 I've stopped worrying about it because yeah yeah you gotta just not worry about it yeah. i mean and now that youtube has changed its rules for monetization it makes it even harder I don't even pay like what what have they done Kim because I don't even know well if you want to monetize your channel um, to get paid then you have to have a thousand subscribers oh, okay. and four thousand um, minutes is it minutes or hours hours of oh, watch um, time four thousand hours of watch time like in in sense. a year that makes sense well it I mean, didn't it's that way though when we started our channels, we didn't have any of that. Yeah. No. Okay. No, I, it I, was just whenever you wanted to monetize, you could. Right. Never was been part of my goal, so I, I don't even pay attention to that kind of thing. I just. I well, it's not I like you of, get rich off it, believe me. No, and that's and I understand that. The only, honestly, the reason I went back to doing videos because I had gone away from it because then because we went on the road and I couldn't do them, and then was because I had sort of had on my bucket list that I wanted to be a designer mm -hmm. at one time for, for somebody. Mm -hmm. So when the craft supplies for you thing came up, I had to do YouTube videos. Yep. yep. So now of course, some of that's changed a little bit because some of them don't do YouTube videos, but I guess it just, that just depends. So, but anyways, I had to do a YouTube video in order to do your to apply for the position. Right. I do. So it kind of forced me to get back doing it because of that. I'm glad that. Well, it takes time. I mean, I've been on YouTube since 2010. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, that's nine years. So it's taken me that long to get to like, I don't even know, what am I at? I don't know. It doesn't tell me here. Um, over 5,000. It's taken me nine years. It's taken me so. seven, seven years. 2012, I started making videos. So it's not like a quick process when you're a crafter. No. I mean, no. there's people, you know, PewDiePie. I don't know if you guys know PewDiePie, but no. he's like, he started when the YouTube basically started and he just reached 100 million subscribers. Oh, but the, those are the people on YouTube who have like the viral videos and stuff like that. Oh, okay. where the big YouTubers like, yeah, you know, like one of my favorite channels is Rhett and Link, which is Good Mythical Morning. I watch that every morning. They're so yeah. funny. Yeah, I love oh. it. I'll have to send you a link to their channel with the mushroom soup recipe because mm -hmm. they're funny. Oh, okay. And it's a great way to start your day. I just find them hilarious. Oh, that's, and they, that's they're, cool. they're very um, family oriented entertainment. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, but I, I love that channel. And like they have like, I don't know, 16 million subbies or something like whatever it is. Um, so it's just channels like that. You know, YouTube is a very big place. Yeah, it, it is. And crafters do not get the viral video no. hits like people like, you know, the other people that I mentioned get. Oh, good. I like that little bit of pink on there that kind of just brought it together. Around, the, around the picture? Around the picture and around the yeah. edge. Too. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. I know you're not going to have a measuring device close by, Kim, but how big is your banner? Well, you just answered your own question. Come on. You're not going to I tell have a me. broken ruler. Oh, because usually you uh, always say, I don't have one. Um, it starts at eight centimeters. Well, but put your hand over it. This is my hand. Okay. So it's, so it's quite large. Yeah, it's yeah. quite large. And what makes it large is the trim. Is is the rough. It's like you know me really well, Karen. I do. Well, you know, 
when you like, I could tell you all kinds of stuff about both of you because you're so there's some things you're so funny about like you'd be like oh I should I should have a ruler handy oh I don't have one and yeah <laughs> Hello, Speckled Seahorse. I love your channel. I've been on your channel. I love your channel. It's been on. I've never. I need to go there. And they want to know what you're making, Amy. I'm making an angel themed snippet roll today. And I'm just doing the strip part now. And uh, I'm making a big angel to put on top of the spool also. There. So let me go check out Speckled Seahorse Channel. Very talented lady. I oh, that's so pretty, Amy. Thank you. I also love her channel name. Right? It's cute. So cute. Well, I like I like that when we're in the chat like this, we can go and we can subscribe to people because it nice. It's it's a fast way to get to go on and subscribe, and then you get to see their videos. Yeah, I think I found speckled seahorse. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in um, oh <laughs> wow, how have I forgotten that group? It was a Facebook group, uh, Sheila's group. Mm -mm. How come I've forgotten that group? I'm not sure. Well, come on, you forget everything. What do you mean? That's true. I do forget everything. Ooh, so you just wow, my friends really love me today. I, do do love them. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing, but I I bit my tongue and didn't say it. <laughs> Is it pick on Kim Day? Let me check the calendar. I'm looking on Facebook to see the name of the group. Boho Daydreams. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay. It might have been in that group. So Sonia says she finished a three-part Christian Grey lace book. So is that what your first video is going to be on, Sonia? Oh my goodness. Whoa. That sounds intriguing. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a great name, Speckled Seahorse. Yes, yeah, it is Boho great name. that's where I found your channel. Every Tuesday is pick on Kim Day, Deanna. Thank you. That's oh. great. Good to know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh. <laughs> If for some reason you uh, can't make next Tuesday, everyone's going to feel really bad. Oh, no, I'll be here. I know, but if something were to come up, we'll be all like, oh, no. Yeah, because then you won't have anybody to pick on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of things do you ladies do? JL Johnson wants to know. Well, pretty much um, everything. For me, we all um, Amy and Karen. Yeah, pretty much all of I us. Think, I think that we all do everything. Yeah, we like doing mixed media, which I, I think we're going to do an art journal day, the three of us soon. Are we Karen doing that? know what she's been roped into now. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I are are you doing that on your birthday, Amy? Still? Yes, it's going to be. Uh, we're going to do art journaling for an hour. Okay. And then there's going to be uh, um, other crafty hours. And okay. Shannon said, yes, she would be happy to come on and show some resin. Oh, cool. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So are you going to have people come and go then from the panel? Like have someone come on for an hour and then go and someone else come on? Well, I was thinking to do that, but I only want to be on for three hours. So it's going to be kind of a tight fit because I'd like it if we could all craft along. And I'd like to do an hour of art journaling. I, Siobhan said she's going to try to be here, but I haven't asked her yet if she could maybe show me how to make the file folder thing. Oh, cool. I would like her to, and I would like to make, oh, wait, where did I put it? Wait, let me find it. 
I tried it. I meant to keep it handy so I could show it. Where did I hang it? Darn it. I don't know. It's those. You sent me one for my birthday and you have a tutorial on how to make it, Karen. The, the, oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. That was really helpful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why. Oh, the, the little flower fairies. Fairy. The flower fairies. Yeah, I just, that's my latest video that I posted. Yeah, I'd like to make these too on my birthday. Yes, oh, your well, flower are fairies are amazing, Karen. Yeah, they're, they were fun. Yeah, we like to do like all kinds of things, really. If you go and look on our channels and just look at a couple videos, you'll see that there's quite, quite a variety of things that, yeah. I'm not afraid to try anything. No, me neither. And I've got some things that I want to do. I've got some fabric painting and I've got some block printing that I want to do on fabric. Oh, that's so pretty, Amy. What are, you, what are we looking at? Uh, mixed media and art journaling and all those things. Oh, you should try them. Yes. You've already got amazing skills. I'm sure you could do it. Okay. I have to dig in a bag. Sorry for the noise that you may hear. That's too pink. I need more of a dusty pink. My microphone seems to be very sensitive and it picks up a lot of noise. It's okay. Whenever I hear the rustling, I look up to see what you're doing. <laughs> One thing about when you're crafting along, even when I'm not on live like this, I you're busy looking down and then things certain things trigger you to look up at, you know. Hey Rhonda. How are you today? There, I put myself in the chat. My channel is Amy Love. You can just follow my name to my channel. Yeah. Karen, can you type in the chat for Good. a second? Done. Yeah. Right beside their names, if you like go to the end of their name. Um, there's three little dots, and if you hover over it with your mouse, and then you click on that, those three dots, a uh, little menu will come up, and it says go to channel. If you go, if you click on that, you can go over to their channels and then subscribe to them. Yeah, and you can do it, and then just come right back. Like it all happens while you're still on the live. So it's yeah, it doesn't take you out of this chat. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. which yes, I like that too. I like this part when you can just add the fine details. I like adding the fine details. Yes. Yeah, so do I. And I'm, I, yeah, I love just placing pearls and stuff just one at a time. I just find it very relaxing. It really is. So. Roseanne, hey girl, how are you? Hi Roseanne. I'm glad you Hi, made Roseanne. it. Roseanne is also three hours behind us. She's in California. So thank you for getting up early. <laughs> well, it's nine o'clock now, so it's not quite as bad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I have to put a bow. Everything's better with a bow. That's true. I guess I can't, I can't really get it closer than that. It's just, I don't know. Oh, you're in California too, Rhonda? I didn't know that. 
Very cool. Oh, I take back what I said about this not taking long to do. I don't know why I'm struggling with it. But that happens. That looks nice, the applique there, that's nice. Yeah. Not sure about this, but I like the pearl. Right. I have to lay everything out and then change my mind 50 times. Yeah, well, that's that's part of it. Oh my goodness, Roseanne. Oh. oh. Oh, that's a terrible way to start your morning, Roseanne. Right? Oh. I'm very sorry. Okay, I don't mind that so much. That one's too big. I'll have to cut it. But we'll cut it. Yes, cut it. <laughs> Karen's like, don't put that there. That looks terrible. Don't do that. You need to cut I that. Love it. It's too big. I like it when people take scissors to things. <laughs> do you? Well, it makes things last longer. It really does. People are, they go, they put something on a project like you just did and they're like, oh, that's too big. And then they just set it aside and they don't use it. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm all about getting out the scissors and. Absolutely. You got to get more out of your laces and appliques because they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aww. I'm sorry, Roseanne, but you did the right thing. Yeah, I don't know if I could have done that. I'm, I would have wanted to, but I don't know if I could. I no, know. I would have made my husband do it. Yeah, that's <laughs> like... Well, I think Roseanne's hubby was probably at work. Yeah. I guess faced with the problem, if I was the only one there, I might have. But the sound of the thought of it is, oh, no. Yeah. Bye, Sonia. Bye, Sonia. Good Bye. to see you, sweetie. Okay, now I like that. So we'll do this. Thank you for doing that video, Roseanne. That was really sweet of you. Yeah, I haven't been able to watch it yet, but I have it in my watch later. I sent her a little envelope of happy mail and she did a nice video on it. Wasn't really much, but. Well, that's nice. Oh, thank you, Speckled Seahorse. It's act, it, I know it kind of looks like a journal, and it could be, because you could stitch pi uh, pages in there, but it's just, I just sort of made like a, a, a cover, and then I'm going to use it to send like a gift or happy mail or something in. So, but yes, I, I love the colors too. I have used both of those glue sticks already. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, somebody got a message. Yeah. It was me. It's my turn to take my turn in word blitz. Oh, I haven't taken my turn yet. Word blitz. <laughs> and I never, I won one game. Amy went, won 5,000 games. I've won one. But you always beat me in words with friends, so I feel like we're even. No, not always. What is it? What is it? A word game, obviously. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a, if you want to. It's addicting. It's a, <laughs> probably not. I I don't I don't like the I don't I don't play those things. Yeah. I love that. Just, just for that reason. Gotcha. I don't know. I just I just would rather. 
I love it. I freaking play. You love it. Eh? I love the word game. Yeah, yeah. I do word like word games, games too. I don't like that button, but I do like that flower. Oh, thank you, JL. She's sub to everybody. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that the secret? I have to come on lives and then people will sub to my channel too. That's a little secret, yeah. It, did you, did you, you did something, Kim, didn't you? You like, you sent out a thing saying, uh, make sure you go and sub to Karen's channel because then she's going to come on lives with me. <laughs> that could have happened. Tri it's trickery. It's trickery. I know. Well, you know, I, I'm a trickster. What can I say? I... I'm a trickster to get you on lives. <laughs> what? Whatever will, whatever you have to do, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, listen, I am a sucker for when my husband just randomly texts me sweet stuff during the middle of the day. I oh love my. it. Newlyweds. I love it. Newlyweds. That's funny, Kim. She <laughs> is. She yep. is. That's, I, I often think the same thing when she posts things. I'm like, newly, newly wed. <laughs> so sweet. Which lace are you talking about, Roseanne? She said she has some too. Oh, the Paisley. Yeah. Yeah, I love Paisley. Sweet. Maybe Roseanne will come on one week. That'd be fun. I can make it a bit later in the day, too, for my West Coast friends. What do you say, Roseanne? I'm, it's not like I'm putting you on the spot right at this moment. Oh you are putting her on the spot oh. <laughs> oh like you ever put anyone on the spot right? <laughs> poor karen's been yeah. times oh my goodness you guys it's okay i just love my friends i love hanging out with my friends what can i say okay okay that's why <laughs> well that's good that's nice Nice. Yeah, see you guys. Nice. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good for you. <laughs> you gotta watch. You gotta watch tone when people can't see facial expressions. Right. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to put this aside for a few minutes and start on the bags because I'm just a little stumped at the moment. But yeah, so. yeah, it's nice to sometimes do that because you just get like, wow, I don't know what to use. I want to put lots of, you know, things at the bottom because it is a banner. So I'm going to do that. I can't see the bottom. What's that? Uh, have you put anything at the bottom yet? Um, I will show you. I can only see eight, your name where the bottom is. Oh, right. Um, I've bought a bow there, but I'm going to put all these, like, yeah, you know, dangles. Nice. the sari yeah. and a uh, sari and um, vintage seam binding. So yeah, that's nice. Kind of, you know, hang down. That's pretty. Oh, she, Roseanne's up at 630. So there you go, Roseanne. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's a night owl and she wakes up early. Oh my god! That's yeah, I I can't do that. I don't know. I'm not late. Like that. No, I don't do that anymore. I used to. No, that game is over now. I can't do both. It's one or the other. Yep. Yeah, there's no way I could do both. I'm not a night person. I've never been a night owl. What does she mean when she says I'm from the 59s? I'm not what sure. What do you mean, Roxy? What's her name again? Roxanne, right? Roseanne. 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 Yeah. Her name makes me want to say her name's Roxanne. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm just going to put that aside for a few minutes, but I'm happy with it so far. But a few minutes Beckled, over here. Beckled Seahorse says, beautiful, Kim. I got to see more of the banner when you moved it. Yeah, it's hard when... Uh, what I'll do at the end is um, I'll try and make the pictures bigger. I can try and move those now, actually, because we were going to switch around yeah, the layout. Yeah, switch it around, and that way people will be able to see your your project yeah. that you were doing. There's a different view there, and it's a bit closer. You go to bed at 4, and you're up at 10. Oh, no. No, nope, can't do that. Oh, four and up at ten. Oh, four is. I can't do that. Was that a baby sneeze, Amy? That's her little princess sneeze. Wow. That's what I call it, princess sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do the bags now. What does that look like in the new layout? Yeah, you can only see one of the bags. So we'll just do one at a time. We'll do this one. And that's kind of right in the middle. So I'll try and keep it there. Uh, JL likes this view better. Yeah, yeah it, I, I mean, it is, it is closer. And especially for Amy, it shows what she's working on. Whereas before, it showed more of her table. Yeah. Roseanne is 60 now, so she's the same age as you almost, Karen. She's 60 now? Yeah. So she meant she was born in 59. That's what she meant. Yeah. By that. Yeah. yeah. So she's a, a, approximately a year older. Yes, Rhonda, it's, um, it's an angel snippet roll. It's really cute. Okay, let's figure this one out. These will go quicker, I hope. I seem to be indecisive today. That's okay. Amy, with your snippet roll, is it one of the types that you actually snip the whole backing and everything when you snip off the images? Well, this one will be because I'm not hand sewing on all the bits. Yeah, so they can just they can just yeah. snip off the whole piece. Yeah, she can just, when she wants to use this, where's my camera? Yeah image you can just snip this off yeah perfect yep yeah that's actually um i saw someone else do one similar to that and it was just it kind of getting things ready almost a way of having like things ready for future projects by just doing it that way too yeah yeah because you can cut off just the look i don't know where the camera is now but even this I just made with the flower and the doily. You could just snip yeah. that part off. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so you have all these, and you have images with lace all around them, and it's all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, um, I'll let one of you ladies take this question because you'll be better at it explaining it since I've only made one. And that is, what exactly is a snippet roll? That sounds like an Amy Love question since you're the question. <laughs> yes. <in this> case. <laughs> Totally sounds like an Amy Love question. Wow. The beautiful thing about snippet rolls is they really can be whatever you want it to be. So for this snippet roll, I'm using snippets out of my stash to create um, an angel themed snippet roll that's on fabric. So I'm going to roll it up. I can't find my camera with this new angle. So it'll roll up onto a spool, but it doesn't have to. You can just roll it without the spool, like Debbie did mine. I have one Yeah, that just went up on my channel today um, that doesn't have a spool. So it'll wrap, it'll wrap around nicer later when I'm done. And then the person that I'm sending it to can use all the bits that I've put on here. So she can cut this image off and use it on a project. She can cut that applique off and use it on a project. And you'll just cut through the whole piece, the whole fabric and everything. Sometimes I make them where I hand sew every little bit on. That way they can just snip off the individual pieces to use instead of cutting the whole base. 
So you can and it's a it's a great way to use up your snippets. So your little pieces of lace and stuff that you have. So and Amy's done hers with a lot of images, but you can also do them just with little bits of lace and appliques and yeah. really anything that you want to pull out and put on them. And there, I mean, I, I really, once I got going on it, it was, it was a lot of fun. It is fun. And it's a nice way to gift. Yes. Things yeah. to people. Yeah. So pretty. Roseanne says, my brain says I'm 18, but my butt says, sit down, old lady. Right? <laughs> Here. Oh, man. I totally say yes to that. I, I understand that. That is the truth right there. Okay. Let's cut a piece of cheesecloth. I wouldn't know how to turn it off either, so I can relate. Is that on Facebook, Amy? Yeah, I just closed Facebook, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, oh, you made that you made that seem so easy, Kim. <laughs> right. I try. You try. Well, very good. A lot of fun. I enjoy. No, I'm not trying, but I try. I know. <laughs> <We're gonna say. laughs> okay. JL said, nice. Sounds like a lot of work, kind of like clusters, but with fabric trim, fabric items. Oh, it's she had some health issues last year and just getting back to trying to craft. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Health issues are not fun. No. no. And and the snippet rule is a little, like I put off making one for a long time because I kind of thought the same thing. It seemed like it was a lot of work. But... Um, once I pulled out a bunch of stuff and I watched you guys make them, then I once you get going on it, it it's not really it's yeah, it's, it's not fun. bad. And you don't again, you can do it little bits at a time. There's no, it can take you days to finish or weeks to finish if you want. Um, but if you have a bunch of little things left over in your like little pieces left over, um, it's a nice way to use them. Yeah. I didn't use any images in mine because I'm just getting, um, I just finally got myself organized that I, and I got a program so I can size things and be able to print them myself. So I, cool. I don't really have a lot, but, but I, you know, I mean, giving someone something with all kinds of little snippets on it of things that they can use when they're crafting it, like Amy says, it's a nice way to gift something. It really is. Is that your bling box now, Amy? No, it's the charms. Oh, it's the charms. It's charm time. Got some really nice charms for her. I mean, it takes a lot of hand sewing, I think. That's what the, you know, yeah. the original purpose was. Yeah, I, I hand sewed my stuff on, but some of the stuff, just because I wanted to include some little acrylic pieces and stuff, I just decided to put a tiny bit of glue behind them. And right. and and you can just, just kind of, if you slide your nail underneath or you use your hot glue gun and you just sort of put the, the hot glue gun against it, it melts the glue and you can take it off. Well, I have one of these, Karen. I'm going to save it so <gasps> I can get one. Yes, there you go. You have one. But you can just, you can use just that, the flat, like if you're doing flat flower, flowers, say that three times fast, you can just use a piece of wire like this and make it into the base to glue your flowers onto as well. Right. So if you have like 
the flatter kind of flowers or you have one flower that you want to use, then you can do it that way yeah. because it, it'll just glue on to that as you're backing. But yes, the cones are, I mean, I, I remember when I first got back into crafting, I, I ordered some on eBay and I got like 50 of the gold and 50 of the silver and you have them for then forever. <laughs> I hear you about the junk in the trunk, Roseanne, but that's, that's in right now. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the Kardashians. That's really in right now. So yeah. <laughs> too bad it wasn't in when I went to high school, but. Yeah, really. As long as you have money like the Kardashians so that you can wear all the clothes they wear too. Right. Yeah, skinny jeans, no. Oh my gosh, Karen, I love that. I was just, I missed that, the flower on YouTube. I just saw it. I missed it when you held it up. Oh, the crochet the flower. The moved one? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, uh, uh, you do your flower challenge and I'll for sure send you some. Ooh. You just have to tell me what, what colors you want. Although you craft with all colors because you're yes, I do. You, do, yeah. you do the boho and everything. So yeah. Tiana but, said they have a little more than junk in the trunk. <laughs> who said that? Deanna. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a hundred degrees and it's only nine twenty-two in the morning. That's in California. Yeah. Well, yeah, she lives well, in the desert too. So yes. it's not hot, hot, hot. Yeah. That's why people like to go to California, though. They go for the sunny weather. Well, that's too sunny for me. Yeah, I, I don't think I, well, maybe as a child, I was down there in August, but I would never choose to go down there in the summertime. No. Because you're right, it's too hot. That would make my Canadian blood boil. <laughs> Your, yeah, your Eastern Canadian blood, especially. Yes. Yeah, because you're a West Coaster, so well, you can handle it better than us East Coaster people. Yeah, a little bit milder weather here, so we're not quite. Yeah. You don't get the, the snow that we get here. No. Well, as a child, I used to. We used to get really heavy snow here and, and big icicles and all kinds of things. But over the years, that's changed big time. Well, it has because global warming. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to make snow forts that were so high, like you could stand up in them. Yeah, well, we actually used to be able to do that too during, you know, like January kind of thing. And we would make snow forts like that. And I remember we used to have a lot of drifting of the snow and the snow would drift up as high as the hedge in the backyard. It would be drifted up. Bye, Debbie. And yes, Rhonda, I'm a Canuck, and so is Karen. We just live on opposite ends of the great big huge country. Yeah. Bye, Debbie. Bye, Debbie. Oh, you're from Burlington, Rhonda? It's another Canuck. Yeah. We're everywhere. Amy's almost a Canuck. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm further north than Tim is. That cracks me up. Yeah, it cracks me up too. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when she came from Georgia. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It it really had to be love for you to do that. <laughs> Although I don't know initially if you moved for love. I can't remember how the story all went. Yes. Yes. It was for love. Yeah, I, I thought so. I was 17 years old. They were high school sweethearts. Yes, my husband and I are high school sweethearts. Aww. Doug and I aren't.
Oh, right. Okay. So you moved to California. See, I always said if California ever became part of Canada, I would move there because of the it's, weather. Oh, but it's too hot in the summer there. Kim, my sister lives there and come July 1st, oh my God, they go up over a hundred degrees and they, that yeah, that's not, a little hot for me. it doesn't come down until September. And that's a long time. To, they literally go from their air conditioned house to their air conditioned car, their air conditioned job. Right. Like they don't even, they don't even spend that much time outside. Yeah. I know somebody who lives in California who's never been to the ocean, which I was shocked at. Yeah. Well, if they if they live inland, it's it's a drive, and too expensive. Yeah, not as hot on the coast. Yeah, I'd have to find somewhere where it's like seventy two all the time. Yeah, that's the same. If you go down, if you go down the Oregon coast, it's 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 beautiful. But people always laugh because they'll people say, "Oh, it was so cool." And they, because they yeah. thought it was going to be sunny and hot and that it's not that way at all. It's, it's, it's beautiful, but it's not hot. Yep. Okay. I want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, we get a lot of humidity here in the summer where I am in Ontario. That's cool. I didn't know you were from Burlington, Rhonda. That's cool. I'm uh, further north than that. I'm up uh, by Algonquin Park. Um, some of them might be Godet images, Roseanne. Uh, where did I put my other image? There it is. That's the other one. It's possible. I got them off Google free images. If you want them, Roseanne, I can send them to you. You'll have to send her a reminder. <laughs> yeah, you will. You'll have to remind me. That's Karen. Wow. <laughs> but don't be afraid to send her a reminder. Right. Yes, because I forget to send Karen everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just, I thought you were very busy. I know that you got a lot going on. So, you know. Well, you have relatives around here. I do have a bit going on. That's true. That's who cool. Has who has relatives? Oh, near me, um, Rhonda. Rhonda. What town are they in, Rhonda? It is. It is hot here in the summer. I have to say, it's very humid, um, and my husband and I are both both air conditioning people. But you cannot beat the autumn here. It's so beautiful, which I'm sure it is in Maine, too. Yeah. Maine reminds me a lot of BC. Yes. Yeah, I could see when, that. When I see her post her pictures and the, all the tree colors and just even the greenery now, it just like I could swear that she's taking pictures of BC. Yeah. Well, she has a mountain in her backyard, too, so she's a lucky girl. I live on the side of the mountain. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to look in my snippet bag and see what I got. In my one of many snippet bags. I've got to do a snippet de stash very soon. Yeah. It doesn't take very long for that to. No, it doesn't. It's totally time. But I. I... They, it is nice things to send as happy mail because a lot of times it's fun to get someone else's snippets. It really is. Roseanne said, Amy, you're not sewing each itty bitty piece, are you? LOL. <laughs> not today she's not. 
Th these final pieces, I'm hand sewing them all on. Some buttons and beads. Ooh, there's something good. I found something good in my snippet bag. Yay! Hey there. there you go. Oh, you have lots of relatives in Ontario? That's cool. It's a good province, I have to say. <laughs> Karen's like, be quiet. <laughs> well, I've I've never I haven't gotten out that far yet, so I'm, you know, I think Honestly, I think all of Canada has lots to offer, so I'm sure it's very Well, beautiful. I agree with that. I mean, the East Coast is beautiful. Um, I've not been out West. My husband has, and I would like to go one day. That would be mm -hmm. very nice. Mm hmm <laughs> I'd like to go to Maine one day. Well, that's not very far for you to go. Come no. on. Come on. <laughs> well, that might happen. You're welcome. And I'm going to Wisconsin next year to visit my friend Mary. And I hope to at least come for the weekend or something. That'd be awesome. Tell Mary I invited myself. She can just deal with it. I'll tell her. <laughs> So how far is that from you, Kim? Wisconsin? You, yeah, you are driving there or? No, no, flying. No, okay. No, my husband is not a traveler. Um, although, you know, in a few years, I'm hoping we take a, a rather large trip together, but uh, that'll be after we move. Yeah, yes, Karen's making, well, one of, this is, this one is a flower fairy because, but they are, they can be angels or flower fairies. I finished my little book that I was working on, so I have little bits of things here, and so I thought I'd work on one of those. I can't wait to make one of those. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, they're beautiful. Welcome back, JL. And okay, Rhonda, I'm sorry your sciatic is acting up. I know what that feels like. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is not fun. No. no, that's not fun. Is she? Did she go because she can't sit? Yeah. Yeah. She's gone to get up and walk around for a bit. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Deanna. This is just one of my crocheted flowers, and then I did a beaded center in it, and then little butterfly wings, and these ones I just modge podged, and then I put some of that, oh, I can't remember, some kind of a sparkly stuff that you could, that you put on and it sticks on. I can't think of the name of it. It's like, like doing a video. It's like doing a video the minute you, the minute you go on, you can't think of the name of things. Look who's in the chat, guys. It's Mary. Her ears were ringing. Mary. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, you both are. I just invited myself. Did you like that, Mary? <laughs> Imagine the trouble we can get into again. So fun. Yes, Amy and Mary and I actually met up a few years ago in Missouri. We went to visit somebody else, and uh, the three of us met for the first time there. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Right? How many years ago was that now? Like, it, it feels like forever. 2015. I, I feel like that's place. such a funny place to say you met. Missouri, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, that was weird. But I met my husband. So I meet a lot of great people in the room. I remember I hugged Amy out the door. 
<laughs> you hugged her out the door. I did. I wouldn't let her go, so we hugged yeah. all the way out the door. Well, that's cute. It was cute. We're adorable. <laughs> We're <laughs> if, if you if you do say so yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dana. How are you? Not sure I like the sparkly one. It's too sparkly. What sparkly one? What were you doing? I missed it. Well, I had this and I was going to, but I don't know. It doesn't quite go with the coffee dyeing and the. Right. You know. You know, I know. You have to hold it up to it and then you realize it and then you're yeah. like, nope, that one doesn't work. Yeah. But it's good to use your snippets up. That's going to have a piece of bling or something on it right there. Back to the snippet. Bag. And if I can't find anything in this one, I'll check my other snippet bag. <laughs> yeah, just... Just keep looking. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely time to do a snippet bag thing. No problem. What about your snippets? Let's do it. Yeah. What length do you usually put in when you if you're gonna do something like that, Kim? Oh, I if don't really doing... have a length. It's just okay. whatever. So any, anything, ends up there. Anything like goes... this piece is really long. Yeah. It shouldn't be in there, but it's in there. Right. Okay. And then I have like this rose applique, which doesn't need to be in there, but I must have cleaned my desk off that day. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then I have some coffee dyed bits and I yeah. I usually yeah. when I get down to like the last six inches, I throw it in, but yeah, I know some. I know some people put a a lot longer pieces in their snippet. Yeah, I just I kind of use them for when I'm tidying up sometimes, and I'm lazy, yeah. so I just put it in there. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. You know how that goes. I totally understand. I've got sari bits in this one too, and buttons from a sari. Hi, Miss Vic. Hi, Vic. I got your message, hon. I'm glad you liked your kit. There. Finish that one. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Oh, yeah. So this work, the wire for the circle like that works well, Amy. I have to put an applique on there. When you have a flat, like a crochet flower or something like this too. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Because it, gorgeous. it just, it sits on there. Karen's got crazy mad skills. Yes, she does. Uh, no, just, just have fun. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So what are you guys in the chat all working on? I want to know. Yeah, so do I. What are you guys making? I don't have enough on my uh, to-do list, so give me some more ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by my list. Overwhelmed. I want to make time to do my fabric printing that I want to do very soon. I've had the stuff for a while and I just haven't done it. I also ha got new stuff for watercoloring that I want to do. So I want to do some watercoloring too. Yeah, 
Oh, Roseanne, that is on my bucket list for years to make. Oh, she'll love that, Roseanne. Wow. That's what this fabric is. This is Nola fabric. That's the one I asked her about in the group that she doesn't have anymore. I love it. Um, Speckled Seahorse is making some fabric bookmarks out of lace and sari textiles. Ooh, gonna have to go over and check that out. And JL said, I'm using up stuff, making beaded wire strands, junk journal stuff, ATCs. Ooh. You guys are amazing. All of that sounds awesome. You're all amazing. All right, that's getting there. I got to put some ribbon through these too. Drat, I'm going through the glue. Well, that's what we do. Go through the glue. I think that needs a bow. Of course it does, silly girl. <laughs> now I had some small lace here, I thought. Some vintagey looking stuff. This is that Do big enough? Do you need enough? us to help you find it? No, I got it, girl. Okay. okay. I got it. I saw your your paper clips this morning or your yeah yeah Amy sent me those I know I have some too and I I saw I love working with them and I saw yours they really you did a really good job they turned out really nice oh thanks yeah they're they're really cool did you see the paper clips Amy I saw a glimpse of them when I was running around frantically so I haven't had a chance to talk about them. yeah I already altered them they were fun that was my white rose craft project, so I was very happy with it. Mm -hmm. There we go. In the pink and orange kit to make the, the Tilda doll. Is that what? Oh, cool. I love pink and orange together. Yeah. That comes from my flower shop days. Because pink and orange flowers look so good together. Okay, there's my little bag. She's cute. Yeah, that turned out pretty. So I might put something just along the back here, like a trim, just to finish the back off later. But I don't really want to cover up the fabric too much. No, that's always a dilemma when you have nice fabric. It's trying to it really is, something. yeah. Yeah, you want to design something that's not going to yep. completely cover it up. And see, this side has this beautiful flower motif, so I'm debating on having that for the back and doing this. But, oh, yeah. You know? Actually, that's a good idea, Kim. Yeah. Put it on, put it on the back and decorate, and then it, and then you sort of have that option of having either side because yeah. that's so pretty. It really is. Nola finds beautiful things. Yeah. She, it could be the area that she's like, sometimes it's where you live when it comes to yeah. finding that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, that's true because um, I have a thrift store that I go to that's fairly regular and I always have great success there. The prices are good. You know, I do good there. And last week we went to a different one in a different um, town and it was fine. I picked up a few things, but the prices were crazy expensive. Yeah. And so I didn't get much. Um, but, you know, it's just so it, it really depends on the town. I think it was because it was such a, a, a much bigger. I don't think it's a town anymore. It's probably like a small city now. Yeah. Yeah. But. 
Well, once they get bigger and they have the clientele, then they their prices tend to go up along with that. Yes, it does. So. I live in the dirt, so I have tons of jeans and t-shirts in my thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm in high desert. Not sure where that is exactly. And it's in California somewhere. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Okay. That lady did that to me at the antique store when I went in for those wooden spools. Yeah. And I bought a whole bunch of them, and then I went back like a couple months later, and they were up in price. I was like, "What, lady?" Yeah. Because she didn't she didn't know what she had at first, and then when right. you you didn't play it cool enough, Amy. I didn't. I was too. <laughs> when oh, she thought. When she saw your excitement, she couldn't wait to put them up in price and wait for you to come back. Right? <laughs> she did. I'm pretty sure that's how that went. Yeah, me too. That's exactly how that went. Funny. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a little bit of color on this one with this pretty trim. Because it'll pick up on the burgundy flowers on the other side. Yes, that looks good. We're going to do that. You live in a little country town, Deanna? Yeah, me too. So this thrift store that I go to um, is like an hour and a half away. Bobby and I make a day of it. Everything's far when you live where I live and where Amy lives. <laughs> it's like Amy's living my life now. <laughs> it is. That's, that's funny. <laughs> Because she does a lot of the similar things that I do now that she's moved to Maine. Which yeah, because if you if you watch her old videos, she's like, I just whipped out to get a Starbucks and I'm yeah. ready now to craft. Yeah, there's no whipping out to get a Starbucks now. <laughs> that no longer happens. That's no longer a part of my life. And she went to Starbucks the other day and they were closed for construction. So I got a text about it. Oh, my God. Ooh. She was devastated. <laughs> I felt bad for you, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That does that does sound a little upsetting. I was not a happy camper. No. Did you get my text last night, Amy, with the photos? Yes, I did. I loved it. Thank you so much. I had deer very close to my house last night. Oh, cool. And um, right behind my bedroom window. So our bedroom windows were open. So my husband and I were standing there whispering and talking because we didn't want to distract them <laughs> and watching them. And then my cat jumped up on the bedside table and looked out the window and kind of went, Ugh, and then left. Oh, like what are, what are y'all looking at? Yeah, she didn't care. That was blue. Um, Boots would have cared, my other cat, but she was asleep, so. She probably would have growled at them. That's funny because yesterday we were driving home and there was two deer right on the road. We had to stop and sort of slow down while we went by them. I think as the weather cools down, they, you see them more during the day Yeah, around here. They were out back eating the clover. Nice. Where's all my bows? I know I got more bows around here. I stole them. I stole my bows. 
<laughs> you did really, Kim? Yep, stole them all. I found one. This will do. Yeah, I left that one for you. Thank you for leaving that well. Yeah, there's nothing close to you either, Roseanne. Yeah, it's a problem. It's really a problem. I think the inside of my snippet roll is complete. Now I can work on the top and the outside. Bye, Roseanne. Bye, Bye Roseanne. Roseanne. Oh, yeah, you'll have a video later. Awesome. I'll watch for that then. I'm sure Nola's going to love that doll. That's very sweet. No, just don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. <coughs> Well, let's see. What can I put on there? That might be nice, but I'd have to put it behind it. Kind of, it's upholstery. I don't know if you can see it. I have to undo the bottom, so ignore that, but. Yeah, no, that looks nice. Yeah, it kind of goes with the upholstery. I was going to say it goes with the color in the background of the bag. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What's at the bottom that you're going to take undone? So, uh, yeah, the strings. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So I'll have to fight yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing to fight with because otherwise it would just be a big tangled mess. Yep. There we go. That's coming out pretty good. I love those so much, Karen. I want to make some. Here, oh, yeah. they're, and they're fun to make. And I'm doing more white ones, too, because then I can tuck them into Christmas cards for Christmas and stuff. So they're fun. And again, they use, I mean, I crochet, so I have some of the crochet stuff. But otherwise, they you can use just um, bits of lace and stuff gathered to make the bottoms on them if you want to do like a, the flat ones like this. Right. You could just do nice. gathered lace and bits of snippets and that to make their dresses. Oh, such a good idea. You were talking about flower centers last week, Kim. I don't even know if you remembered. You said you were out. And so I was thinking, oh, and I was, so I was starting to make some. So I just, oh, I know. like, yeah, just put the pearls together with a piece of bling or whatever. Yeah. Because you always seem to run out of those. You do, for sure. Um, All right, let's see where I can cut this fringe without... Maybe right there. It always looks so messy once you freaking put everything in the middle. Yeah, it, it, they kind of get lumpy looking. It's a little lumpy. Little bit lumpy. Little bit lumpy. But this is going to be on the top of it. I have to cover the rest of it with the glitter glue as well. I think I'm going to do that on this bag too. Let's do that one. Oh my gosh, we've been on for almost two hours. That went by fast. I'm just happy to be crafting. I was getting a little stressed out earlier, and I just needed to sit my butt down here and craft. Yeah. Much better now. Thank you, ladies. 
<laughs> well, that's good. Glad we could be of some help. Yeah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> we love you, man. I love you, man. Okay. I hope she likes this. She oh, will. Amy. Seriously, Amy. <laughs> Give her a slap, Karen. <laughs> what? Uh, what are you talking about? I just hoping the angel looks right on top of the spool, really. That's well, she's it's not an angel yet. So I'm sure once you get her all done, she's gonna look gorgeous. I hope. I don't know. I've yet to see an Amy Love project that uh, wasn't uh, beautiful. So I think you're going to get there, girl. Right. Thanks, Karen. Well, seriously. You're, you're just you're Karen. just you're just in that phase with the angel that you your full vision hasn't come forward yet. Yes. Yeah. That yes, that is right. But it's it's there. It's getting there. Top, maybe some, hmm. I think I'm going to put feet, feet on there. Where did I put that other piece of flowery lacy thing that I had? <laughs> I don't know, Kim. I can't see it. Well, why can't you? You're supposed to keep track of everything. When I, I know. Them, Karen. I, know. I, I try and be helpful, but I didn't see where you put it. Well, you're failing. You're, oh! Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're oh, failing at keeping me organized, Karen. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try harder. Okay. It's a bit of a tall order. Yeah. It is a tall order, I agree. Uh, I, uh, only because my view is limited. Oh, that's Otherwise, I, All right. I might, might be able to help you more. <laughs> okay, I'll forgive you. Okay. Well, <laughs> thankfully. Right? And I still want to find it, but that's okay. Is it is it under your project? No. Good guess, though. Is it stuck? It's okay. You know what? I'll use something else. Is it stuck to the front of you or on your shoulder or? No, nope. <laughs> none of that. Okay. None of that. I'm running out of ideas. That's okay. On the, on the floor. That's often where I find things. Yeah, that's very possible. They esca escape to the floor, it seems. I may have stuck it in this bag. But it's okay. I think I'm good with what I have. Well, that's good. I do like this dangle, though. I might put that under. I did that with mine, Amy, too. I put feet on the bottom. Yeah, kind of cool. I like it. Yeah. Oh, you put feet on it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't think I would have thought of that. <laughs> oh, yes, I like your feet. Feet. I think I used the same thing for my the feet on mine. <laughs> They're so good for that. I know. I think that's what I mainly use those for. Where's my wings? I might cut that. Oh, Amy, those are beautiful. <laughs> so you did the wire and then wrapped it and then oh. did you is that all feathers? Um, it's a fabric and then I put a marabou just around the wire. Nice. Oh, so pretty. Let those me change really back the, where what was the other one that we had? Was it this one? Nope. Was it this one? That one. It was that one. But it actually makes Amy really far away. Yeah. That one. Oh, there. Yeah. Beautiful. Good evening. Need a wire. 
Very pretty. I just need to make an angel stick for me. Maybe I should cover the outside of it. And, and here's a ruffle, so it kind of looks like the angel dress, maybe? Yeah, you could do that. On mine, that's why I attached that I attached that piece on the end of mine that wrapped around. I just had a side. I mean, I still could, I guess. You could attach right there a piece that wraps around then the rest of the way. Yeah. Thank you, Deanna. I'm still in my pajama pants. Nice. Nice pajama. Me too. <gasps> Nothing wrong with crafting in your jammies. That is true. But this morning, I actually got dressed. Wow. You were up before. Not really. I, I'm not really sure why, but. <laughs> no, stay in your jammies, girl. I know. Well, probably in future I will. <laughs> if you have me back. I don't Pretty know sure I, I will. I don't now we're going to do a flower crafty I, day. I don't know if I've passed the online test. I'm pretty oh. sure you passed. Way before you even came on, Karen. Right. <laughs> oh, man. She's funny. She is funny. <laughs> I try. This is like Hotel California crafting, dude. You can check out, but you can't leave. <laughs> you can check out, but you can't leave. That sounds a bit scary. Yeah, you should be scared, but it's too late. Yeah, it's too, too late. late. <laughs> no time for fear now. Okay. Deanna said, I say you pass with flying colors, Karen. Oh, that's yes, she does. Well, Amy and I first met Karen because she used to come to Amy's uh, Art Journal Thursdays that Amy had on her channel. That's how we met Karen. And she did the most amazing art journals pages. It's the only, and it's the only time that I do my art journal pages. I told Amy, I said, after that, then it was disappointing because I even tried making my own sticks up and trying to do it. But it just didn't have as there wasn't much fun involved. Ah, are you going to do it the same way, Amy? Are you going to do the pull the stick thing? No. I, no, I still have the sticks. Oh, dang. D why? Why, did, why, Kim? I don't like the sticks. Why? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. Well, uh, that's why. It's good. What What other way would, would she do it, Kim? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Sure. You don't like her way, but you have no other suggestion? Oh, man. Come on. Oh, her goodness. Sticks it is, then. Sticks it is. I don't know. I just like, because I'm not a spontaneous crafter. I tend to be more of a planner still. Yeah, and I'm not. So, um, and so it really, like, it makes you kind of stretch out of your comfort zone. It does do that. That's true. It's good for your brain. Yeah, Kim. The only brain? thing, Kim, is, is the only thing, Amy, that I think would be nice is yeah. ahead of time, can we when no can we know what's on the um can we know what's on the sticks? Well yeah, I have a whole list of the sticks on my blog. Okay. Well I yeah. Put them under the video. Okay. Well, and it's I, just, I don't, I can go to your blog, but how far down do I have to go to look for the, I probably have my sticks still somewhere. 
But even under the video, sometimes I had them listed underneath. The, in Did the you? Box. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go look. I just, for me, because my craft space is kind of small, I would, I don't want us to have to go like, oh my God, I got to go in the closet and the third shelf. And uh, you I'm might not see, you might not see me back for the rest of the video because I'm looking for supplies. I know it's a hard deal to get all those supplies out and hand. Yeah. Me. I'm going to use one of your beautiful butterflies you gifted me for my birthday, which I'm so excited oh. about. I love these. So when when is this going to happen, Amy? Do you have a ballpark? Oh, no, now I'm on call, and I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Well, that's okay. <sighs> we could just do one one day whenever everybody's free. Or you can't. I thought you were going to do it on your birthday. Yes, we are going to do it on my birthday celebration. We are going to do that. Oh, but you just don't know what day that's going to be. No, that's going to be on Thursday. On my actual birthday, we're doing that. Yes. Okay. All right. But to try and do a regular one is what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm okay. I get it. God, I love these so much, Ben. These are beautiful. Well... Those are something fun that's easy to sit and do while I'm watching TV. So that's kind of my project when I'm doing that. Nice. I very rare. I very rarely sit and do nothing. I always have something. Super cute. I figured you probably needed a few, so I thought I better send you some. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna have a bow. Oh, I might use this ribbon just for fun, just for a nice bright color there. That would be pretty. I'm almost excited about doing some Christmas crafting. Oh, come on, I am so excited about Christmas crafts. I'm almost excited. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm getting there. That, that's funny. Well, you know, when you have snow for like a lot of the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. No. Yes. Let me reword yes? that. When you've lived oh. in a lot of snow for over 50 oh. years. I oh. see. There. All right. You know, you don't really want Christmas to come quickly because there's that means winter. Yeah. I don't even, we very rarely get uh, snow here until January, so I don't associate the two together. Right. But I totally understand yeah. what you're saying. Bye, Speckled Seahorse. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Bye -bye. I'm going to check out your channel. Again, I love her channel. Yeah, I subbed her, so I'm going to check it out later. Yeah, I subbed her too, so it's a I good will. Channel. That's good. Okay, so I just need some little, little things. Let's move my So Karen sent me um, an image the other day with something to use with this pom-pom trim, which I'll have to show you guys. Oh. I, I saw it, and I was just like, that would be gorgeous. Isn't this cool? It is beautiful. Yeah. I love this, and it's so squishy. You could sleep on that. So this is going to be some Christmas projects, I think. Well, what are you going to do with that? Look, have a big bowl of it. It's like a big old snowball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No, I don't get super excited until I actually need to be excited about it, uh, Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thing. That's, that's see. fair. What color do I want? I do have some red, but well, it's not too bad. Oh, look, it's cute. Where's my camera? Oh, yeah, that's really cute, Amy. Aw. Adorable. It's very adorable. And you were worried. Like I said. You're the same way, Deanna? Yeah, see? Because you just don't want to be like, oh, do Christmas all year long. It just, no. I, know. I, no, I don't like I don't like doing Christmas all year long because I like it to be special. So, yeah, and I don't understand the Christmas in July. I don't get it. I mean, I get it's, that it's I, six months, but yeah, that's about the only part that I get. I'm even, I'm thinking about doing nothing but Christmas crafts next year. All oh, here. Yeah. What? Yeah, me. That won't happen. I'm gonna do it. No, you won't. <laughs> you tell her, Karen. No, well, she won't. I just, because she won't. It's going to be a Christmas crafting channel. Oh, no. Boy. Oh, I, no. Well, that's something, isn't it? I don't know, Amy. I, I might have to not watch you then. You oh, will. Dang. You will <laughs> watch you will love it. <laughs> okay. You see, you tempt me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you might get bored with that. I, not me. I'm not going to. you? That. Really? No, man. I'm about, oh. nope. I'm about oh. that life. I mean, how many things can you do that are Christmas? You're kidding. Infinite things. Really? Yeah. Come on, you two. What? Yes. I don't get that's, it. Oh gosh, look, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. I'm going to put flowers around here. Yeah, that'll look good. Because although the wooden spool is nice, it, it's a bit of a contrast with the rest of the coloring you got going on there. Yeah. I should have put doilies underneath of her, but it's too late. I got I'm, I'm actually quite shocked you didn't do that. I... I got ahead of my I, You were, yeah, because that totally is an Amy Love thing. I'm like, what? Yep. <laughs> Why is there no doilies? I don't know. What did you put at her neck? Anything? No, she's just, it's just the paper and she's covered in glitter. Or that oh, that's pretty. Glitter glass yeah. stuff. You know? Yeah, that's what I was trying to talk. Let's say what was on these wings is that glitter glass. No, but it has has some other name. That fabric came with like those sparkle, whatever they are. Um, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, Christmas, Deanna. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna challenge you though. If you're gonna do Christmas all year, you cannot do it all in pink. Well, you have, to, you have to use some Christmas colors. Oh, pink is a Christmas color. Make her use red and green, Karen. Traditional Christmas Ooh. colors. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, if you're going to do it 365 days, you can fit in some with traditional Here's Christmas colors. I think colors. that I'm already prepared. See, you can do it. <laughs> Yay. And what were those? Fabric. Just fabrics? Mm. Ah, very nice. Okay. I'm good here. So there's my two bags. I don't know if you can see them, but they're beautiful. Right? They're my two bags. Excuse the mess that's here still, but there it is. So now I'm going to go back and work on my banner a little tiny bit. But yeah, I like them. And they've got the nice dangle, dangle. They do. Dangle, dangle. I like the dangle. Mm -hmm. Not the back. This back is a little plain, but that's okay. Well, 
I know, but even if you're laying them down on your desk or you have them hung up somewhere, the back is the doesn't show, right? Yeah. So this needs like bling and stuff. Bling and stuff. Yeah. That's what it needs. Bling and stuff. Bling and stuff. Deanna said bling. those Deanna said those fabrics would be good for rustic Christmas, Amy. Let's do it. Well, that's Amy now. She's Miss Rustic. <laughs> that's true. And I am a little rustic. Living a little rustic life. Well, it's definitely a change. Oh, yes. Yeah. Major change from my life before. For sure. And I hope this will travel well. Yeah, that's what I was worrying about with mine, too. I'm like, how do you package those? Yeah. The doily there. I wondered, you did one with the teacup on the top, right? Yeah, I just mailed that off today, so hopefully it gets there in one piece. So you just bubble wrap the teacup? No. No? <laughs> you just put it in, but what did you put it, did you put it in a, what did you put it in? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I wrapped it in tissue paper, and I stuffed tissue paper all around it. In a box or in a? Yep, in, a in a box. Oh, okay. I never ship anything in a box, so I don't think that way. Oh, well, I thought since it was breakable, I put, should put it in a box. I know, but I just always try and still use the bags, but I just add extra bubble wrap. Oh, Because okay. it's, so, it's so light, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it was pretty light, I guess. But you were, you're, you were shipping it within the States, right? Yes. Yes. So you guys have crazy shipping down there between like you have free shipping between some states what isn't there free shipping down there between some of the states no 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 I've so never... is it really is it really expensive it's cheap okay it costs I, I, dollars just to ship that snippet with the teacup it cost how much ten dollars and fifty cents yeah that's that's about what it costs to ship from Canada to the East Coast, or even even your parcel was just around was around that, which is better. That actually has come down because the rates used to be. I used to always have to spend closer to fifteen dollars to send to the East Coast anywhere, but they've I don't know. They've some of their rates have changed. Hmm. I think they've re like you and Kim were both in zones that were considered. Um, out of the city so you pay higher postage but i think they've reclassified some of them because you're they've not the postage isn't as high so i think somehow you've moved to into a radius that they've it's closer to their routes or something well it's more expensive for me to ship within canada than it is to ship to the u.s parts of the u.s crazy I don't understand. Yeah. Like I bet the like any size box that I send to you, Karen, would yeah. cost me at least half. Like when I shipped you those saris and stuff, yeah. or that fabric then, pack you bought, your yeah. shipping was way higher than everybody else's. That's weird. And I, well, you're on the, you know, you're further away from me than Amy is and some yes, people in true. the US. So, yeah. But even yeah. if I'm shipping, you know, just to Quebec or something. I find that no. it's higher. Oh, and know? that's ridiculous because, I mean, you're not far from Quebec. Yeah. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Crystal, I got an, uh, a message on Facebook from you that was something about watch a video. I didn't watch it because I was afraid maybe you got hacked. Just let me know. <laughs> I, just I know. Yeah, don't click on those on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Or in they come in messenger too. Yeah, yeah, messenger. And they're and they are complete hacks. I've had a few too from people. 
but I don't click on them. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, since she's here, if I reach out and let her know. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good idea because it's the only way you know for sure. Yep. Yeah. All righty, need some bling. Yes, the bling. Don't click on it. Yes, okay. I didn't click on it, but I was just letting Crystal know. <laughs> I didn't think that you'd be sending me a video. I'm making an angel snippet roll, and Ken's working on a banner, and Karen's just been crafting away over there, making all sorts of things. <laughs> that's okay you've never probably met me before that's why she's like who's karen <laughs> <laughs> she is karen billinger and she is a very talented lady. Okay, and someone has said, Deanna said something happened to Misty's sister. What happened? Yes, that's right. Same thing. It was uh, videos in Messenger. Oh, Misty's sister. I'm not sure. But first of all, um, you have met Karen. You both served on chaos for you as designers. At the same time, actually, we we got hired at the same time. Yes, and and but now Karen's the social media coordinator over there. Yeah, because uh, Amy cried, and I felt bad for her. <laughs> You're helping your sister out. You're so helpful. Oh yes, she says now I remember who she is. Yeah. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> oh, wait, let me put you right in there. Well, I was so worried I wasn't going to get this done in a timely manner, but I think I'm going to finish it today. Okay. You did it. Hot man. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just can't decide what I want to put on here. Yeah, I hear you rustling there. Yeah, I'm rustling. You're coming up with anything? No? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's good. Again, sound doesn't bother me. It makes me look up and go, what's she doing? That's what I'm doing. I don't. I know sometimes I hear people on YouTube apologizing for rustling, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yep. Not the way. I have a volume button. I can turn it down if if it's bothering me. Uh, my microphone on my this webcam is very sensitive. I find. Is it? Yeah, I just find it picks up a lot of extra background noise. Oh. It's all part of being live or doing a tutorial. Yes, it is. Having 
I had a nightmare last night that I dropped my, one of my bead boxes and it crashed on the floor and beads went everywhere. And Oh my goodness. You see? Because you worry about, because some people are get really, are very sensitive. And I always, for me in the back of my mind, I always think about the people that are the most sensitive that you're going to be causing them some terrible yeah. pain. Aww. You're so sweet, Karen. Well, not really. <laughs> okay. I try and think I try and think of others, but you know. So funny. That's how it goes. It's all part and parcel of all what you get with me. Crystal said she's been working at a nursery. That sounds like fun. I'd love to do that. Now, is that like a child nursery or oh, is see, it? Yeah, I was thinking of a, a flower nursery. nursery. I think it's yeah, plants. plants and flowers. Oh, sure. oh nice. Yeah. I plant plants and flowers. Yes, that would be me. I'd love that. It's a hard job. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it like all the time, but I wouldn't mind doing it for a while. It, I love that kind of stuff. I think I want a crown. You think you want what? A crown. I think I want to put a crown. Yeah. I want to make another crown. A halo. She's an angel. I know, but I think I'm going to put a crown. Let's see. I think I might well, be doing. Oh, like a, like a full crown crown. I feel like I want to put a word or scripty thing like here, so I may print that off. Where, Kim? Like down here underneath, like just, I don't know, something to believe yeah. or, you know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. Like right here. That sounds, um, yeah. I think I just like script on things, so yeah. that might just finish this off nicely, but I'm happy with it. It's got bling on it now, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm good. I think that's good for a banner. Now all I have to do is thread. I do have this cameo, but that does kind of look good there. Yeah, that does look good. That might have to go there. That's going to go there. I think okay. I'm going to do this crown charm, Kim. I don't, I think it was you. Let me see. Let me click over. Oh, yeah. Screen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You don't like it or you do like it? I do like it. I think it's going to yeah. go. Yeah. Then leave it, girl. Yeah, I like something at the neck when you do the the angels like that. I don't know, something just finishes it a little bit more. You know what I wish? I wish, oh, wait a minute. Can I read the comments here on StreamYard? I can. Ha, ha, ha. I didn't know I could see the chat comments. You probably can see them where I can you see it where I had commented? Is yeah, I, I've got yeah. that. Um, do you have that in the on the your StreamYard comments banners brand private chat? I just have, I, I have a, a spot that says chat. I have a private chat. That's it, and that's where Karen. Yeah. Is. yeah, and that's where we talk to each other. I think if you had to send something to the person that you're with. Yeah. Uh, so the person who's hosting the StreamYard, yeah. they yeah. can click on that. And you can see the chat, chat, the chat, chat. Oh, cool. The chat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So now I need to put some string all, in my bag. All these things that you're figuring out. Well, it's going to take a while, you know. Yeah. You get used to one thing one way. All right. I legit have to go to the bathroom. So are we closing this down or should I just yeah. come back? Um, what do you want to do, Karen? Yeah, we can close it down. Yeah, you guys. I, should, I, I, I should probably go and have some breakfast. Yeah, lunch <laughs> lunch should be good too. So <laughs> oh, is it almost that time? It's 10 30 here. So yeah, it's 1 30. So my tummy's yeah. growling. But it was fun, ladies. Thank you so much for having me. It was fun. 
sometimes it was like awesome. We have been on for two and a half hours, so wow. Well, it it went by really fast. It did go fast, but thank you guys all for coming. Um, and make sure you're sub to everybody. I think you are. It was lovely to see everybody today. Yeah. So thank you guys all for coming. And thank you, Karen and Amy, for being here. And we'll set up a time where we do a flower tutorial live. That's That sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Have guys. You see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, Karen.